All right, so for this last recording, we're going to talk about uh, migration. And this is, uh, the question is, why do it? And there's lots of animals that do these long um, distance movements and migration. So the idea behind it is particularly you're leaving an area that is becoming unfavorable, um, too cold, too hot, something like that. And then you're moving to a place uh, where there's a lot more resources at that period of time. It might be for breeding, it might be for um, just food in general. Um, and so uh, we see that in quite a bit. There's geese up on top and these are wildebeest or um, on the bottom. All right, so when we talk about migration, there are different kinds of ideas and I'm gonna give you three. One is called piloting, uh, the second is compass orientation, and then the third would be um, kind of a combination of both, which we call true navigation. Uh, okay, so piloting is the way that you will use um, or landmarks to find your way. So it's kind of, you know, it might be how you give somebody directions. You drive down the 60, you get off when you see this billboard, uh, you go down, you, you, you take a right, uh, you take a, another right at the Taco Bell. Um, and that, that would be piloting. And, and that worked, I, when I was uh, commuting out to UCLA, I still remember that, you know, it'd be an hour and a half kind of drive and stop and go traffic. And I remember uh, one time driving past the, the off ramp and often probably you've done this where you've driven something over and over in this per, uh, distance that you can't kind of, you really don't remember how you got there. It's just like, oh, here's my exit and you kind of get off. Um, well, what happened was one time I drove past it and, and what probably woke me up and kind of got me thinking about it was the fact that I was now on a freeway that I didn't, well, I was still on the freeway, but I was traveling in an area that I didn't drive that much. So all of a sudden, you know, my brain's picking up, wait a minute, what, where am I? And realized that I'd gone past it. So I went back and got off and did what I needed to do. Uh, but it took, and I'm like, it was weird for me. Why did that happen? And it turned out what happened um was the billboard that i guess i paid attention to was changed and i didn't realize it and so the next day i was kind of paying more attention obviously and i realized they had changed the billboard so what was on that previous billboard was kind of my wake-up call that hey this is you know that that is this is your landmark uh to change uh the next thing is compass orientation where you actually uh have this kind of a compass in your head that you go north south east or west and then true navigation would be a combination of those two. All right, so some studies done in what is used as compasses, some is the sun, uh, monarch butterflies that migrate from North America to central Mexico and back. Um, these guys are using the sun. They, they uh, go throughout the day and they've done a, what we call a clock shift experiment um, where they have different uh, types of light put on them and what they find out is that they will actually shift. Uh, so if you have them in a laboratory and screwed with their lighting, uh, they even got them to fly west instead of uh, south like they should have. Um, but what they find out is over time, they actually kind of figure it out as they're looking around and whatever. There's other cues besides just the sun. Um, but uh, uh, the sun is definitely um, used for a lot of species and definitely for monarch butterflies. Um, and then um, a lot of birds will use the stars um, and because a lot of a lot of them will migrate at night. And so indigo bunting is another bird that and it migrates at night. And so what they've done is they go from the northeastern US to the Bahamas, Mexico and Panama. And so they they place them in a planetarium and they projected um, stars onto the uh, um, the dome and what they found is the the they would shift uh so what they would do is not put the actual stars that are up but they would shift those stars in a different direction and they used emlyn from who you heard before emlyn and they, he produced a funnel and so the birds would be sitting in the funnel and there's a little ink pad on the bottom and they jump uh in the direction they want to migrate and so you see these little dots is you know the direction they are jumping and again, the same thing is they actually know what stars are supposed to be following and they would jump in those directions, even if those stars were not actually where they were supposed to be. 
Uh, magnetic fields. Uh, there are ways to, to kind of figure out with magnetic fields. There's a, um, you know, uh, um, things that we don't necessarily pick up, uh, but it turns out turtles do. They, they found this first in pigeons. They had attached magnets to pigeons, uh, homing pigeons' backs, and they would get lost because it would mess with that signal. Uh, and they also found out these long migrations by sea turtles the same way. Um, they put them in this tub, you know, this big fancy, and they had this big magnetic field on this uh, wooden structure, and it would change their uh, migration patterns or their swim patterns um, because they were following that um, magnetic field. Uh, and then body condition. Um, uh, a lot of birds, uh, they are building up fat reserves. And what happens is if they have enough fat reserves, they may well go one direction. If they don't, they go in opposite. So here is a red-eyed vireo that leaves actually Alabama. Um, uh, this, this study that was done was done on birds from Alabama and they're trying to get back down here. And so what they found is the very fat birds with lots of fat reserves would just fly right up over the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, but there's no, there's no access to food as you go. So you have to make, make it in one trip or you die. Uh, what happens is the low reserve birds they found would actually head west and what they would do is follow over land where they could be actually eating as they go. So it takes them longer, um, but they know they're not going to make it on their own going straight. And so that is the end of the recording and that is actually the end of the lectures for this week. <laughs>